Oh, ladies and gents, bite-sized news chunk, whipping your way. Uh, this actually dropped yesterday, but I uh, was unfortunately quite sick, actually, uh, and I still am uh, feeling a little bit under the weather, sore throat, all that good stuff. You don't really need to know this, but just to let you know, this is why this is a late video. But Batgirl has officially began production, and we've got that basically from a tweet. So the directors, Adil El Arbi and Bilal Fala, I'm butchering them, uh, basically jumped on Instagram to make the announcement and shared an image. Uh, now, the image itself is interesting. Uh, it shows the desk of Officer Barbara Gordon. Um, it also looks like it's Christmas there as well, by the looks of it, um, which is interesting, I guess. Because uh, you can sort of see some tinsel in the background. Uh, you can actually see some old time. I say old time. But there's film casings there. Uh, and a really old looking computer. So I'm a bit confused where this is set. Because. I mean. We've seen this universe already. Uh, you know you've got uh, J.K. Simmons. as Jim Gordon. He's coming back. So we're not suddenly flung into the past. I'm a bit confused as to. You know what time period this is set in. If we're having film canisters in the back and a really old looking PC but that being said um, the Instagram post just says day one Batgirl um, and something that I cannot pronounce but here you have it the image itself looks fine a bit confusing in terms of the time period that it is being set in uh, and still always ultimately confusing as to what Warner Brothers are doing with their DC universe because of course we've got Batman the Batman, uh, played by Robert Pattinson, and then this is still very firmly in the Snyder universe that was established. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think? Are you looking forward to this or not? Personally, I don't really care about this film. Uh, I haven't been that interested from the start, but I will be intrigued uh, as to more behind-the-scenes images just coming out so I can have a look at the aesthetic uh, and, and basically just see what the hell they're doing. I will say this, the logo itself is very reminiscent of um, the sort of old Schumacher uh, style, you know, logos and things like that. I don't think that'll have a play in it, but I still think it's funny nonetheless. Let me know what you think though, guys, down below in the comment section. If you are new here, please do hit subscribe. Lastly, actually, just as a quick one, it's shot in 60 frames a second. Very surprised by that, actually. I've just noticed that. It is shot in 60 frames a second. Very unusual. Film is normally shot in 24, 25 frames a second. 60 frames a second? That's going to look like a sitcom. Mmm. I've just noticed that. I'm... Mmm. That's not so good. That's really quite strange. Uh, anyone that knows anything about film will know that. That's... That's odd. It's going to be very crisp looking. There'll be no motion blur. From a technical perspective, that's a no-no. <laughs> But anyway, whatever. Let me know what you think down below. Cheers, guys. Take care.